Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The theme for today's video is Canada Day and how to make an arrangement for Canada Day. What is Canada Day? Well, if you're Canadian, you already know the answer. If you're not Canadian, well, Canada Day falls on July 1st. It is the equivalent of the American Independence Day. It's Canada's birthday. It marks the anniversary of the British North American Act of 1867, which combined the colonies that Britain had at that time in North America into one uh, country, which is Canada. Um, doing arrangements for Canada Day can be really a fun thing to do. And the reason that I like to show this is that there are so many possibilities. There are many symbols. There are all kinds of things that we can include in terms of a Canada Day type design. For example, we could use the Canadian flag. Or, if we didn't incorporate the Canadian flag into a Canada Day design, we could use elements of it. For example, we can include the maple leaf, which is certainly a symbol of Canada. And then there are other symbols of Canada that we could incorporate into a Canada Day arrangement. Um, some of these are unofficial, of course. For example, when we think of Canada, a cute little uh, mascot, as it were, it's not an official thing, is the beaver. Or we could think of the moose. And I know that my Canadian cousins tell me that there aren't a lot of moose running around the streets of Toronto, but it's still cute. And it's something that we could use as a symbol in terms of an arrangement for Canada Day. Or, you never can go wrong with the Mounties. So any of these could be incorporated into an arrangement for Canada Day. However, uh, I'm going to take a symbol that's going to work very, very well, and that is simply color. Because the Canadian national colors are red and white, and it occurs on the flag, and it's really easy because there's so many red and white flowers that are out there that making arrangements of all styles for this holiday becomes really, really simple. So let's play with it a little bit. We have a container. It's silver. It's a very nice container. We've got some foam in it. We've got some green on there. We've lightly greened it. And let's start playing with an arrangement for Canada Day. And to do that, we're going to start off with, of course, a prestige flower, one of my favorite flowers, a flower that everybody loves these days and that is hydrangea. You never can go wrong with hydrangea. And so I'm going to start off with some of my hydrangea and I'm going to place them into my design. This is a flower that really should be well hydrated prior to doing this kind of thing. And if you do use hydrangea in a foam base and if it wilts at all, uh, simply take it out, cut the stem about a half an inch, put it into warm water, and you'll be amazed at how quickly it will actually revive. So I'm starting off with three of my hydrangea. Now we know that from this alone, this design is going to be impressive, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be showy. But let's add a little bit more in terms of that. And I'm going to take another one of my favorite flowers that also happens to be white. This is a snapdragon. Let's take snapdragon and work it into our arrangement. And I'm going to angle one right down there. And I'm going to place a second point in my design using, again, my snapdragon. And I'm going to work it up here, coming around here. And then I'm going to take a third point working around and have a snapdragon coming around onto the other side. So I'm going to place one here. Now I could stay with the three points on this if I wanted to, but I can also add more if I want to. And I guess I'm going to. So let's add another one. These give an interesting effect to my design, and certainly they give it a very, very pretty effect in terms of coming up with a shape. And you can see, my viewer, that this thing is coming together very, very quickly. But I did say that the Canadian colors are red and white, not just white alone. So let's start adding some red into our mix. And we've got some great red colors to play with in terms of it. There's so many different things that we can use. For example, one of my favorite flowers, ginger. Ginger is a beautiful flower. Definitely comes in red as well as pink. And we're going to mix it in. You may not have thought of ginger as something that 
may have been incorporated into a Canada Day kind of thing, but why not? There's no reason at all why we can't come up with something incorporating ginger into it. It gives a little bit different feel. Notice that I'm mixing things together that you normally might not have considered. Hydrangea, Snapdragon, and ginger, but why not? It gives a really, really cool effect. It certainly is red. It fills space very, very nicely. And we're going to come up with something that's kind of funky because this is going to be a fun kind of thing. And I like doing things that are a little bit unorthodox, even though we're staying with a very classical kind of shape. You'll notice, my viewer, that we're playing with it a little bit. We're playing in terms of the combinations of materials. Now, we've got some other cool things that we can play with. For example, if we're going to be talking about an arrangement for Canada Day, there are so many things that are red that are out there. We've got our mini Gerberas. I love mini Gerberas. They also come in white as well. I'm going to take a mini Gerb and work it right over in here into my design. So we have a mini Gerber worked in there. I'm going to work another one in, but I'm going to work it a little bit lower. Uh, I think I'm going to work it not only there, but I think I'm going to get one right over in here as well. So you can see my viewer, I'm just gradually, gradually working things in and around. Uh, I, have, um, I have some other things to play with. I'm looking at my design bench here where I've got all kinds of goodies to take and use. Uh, let's take a rose and work a rose in here. You never can go wrong with roses. Roses are always very, very popular. So I'm going to get a rose there. And maybe we get another rose in over here. So we're gradually now filling in. We started off with our three hydrangea here. We kind of came up with a shaping in terms of our uh, various our various snapdragon. And now we're gradually working in adding our, our uh, red flowers and getting some pretty cool effects. Here's one of my favorite flowers. These are called spray roses. Spray roses. They are essentially a number of little roses on laterals coming off of one stem. And I'm taking this particular one and I'm going to work this over in here. So we're going to get some of these red spray roses in here as well to add to the complexity of the design. And I'm going to continue using spray roses in other parts of the arrangement. The nice thing about spray roses is they fill space very, very quickly, and they give a very, very rich and opulent effect to my arrangement. And you'll notice that by taking some spray roses and working them here and there into my arrangement, I can come up with something that looks pretty interesting. Here's another set of spray roses that we can have working down here. So you notice, my viewer, this is coming together very, very nicely for me indeed. Now I notice that on my design bench I have uh, a little bit more in terms of roses, so I might as well get another rose in here. So I'm going to sneak another rose right in over in this particular spot. You can see how that works very, very nicely. So the design is gradually becoming more and more complex. It gets more complicated as we go along in terms of our various additions of different kinds of things that we can add to it. Now, let's see, what else can we do? Well, let's, we've got a rose here, we've got a rose there. Let's stick, stick another one over here so we can get a rose in over on this side. So that brings that our eye down to there. Now, what other materials can we play with on this? Well, there's another red flower that I happen to have that I think is really, really cool. Uh, it comes actually in other colors besides red, Alstroemeria, Alstroemeria. Alstroemeria is a lovely flower. It is available pretty much throughout the year. It is a very, very pretty flower. It comes in a huge range of different colors, and it gives a very, very natural effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak some of my Alstroemeria in here, and I'm going to kind of work it in here towards the bottom of the arrangement. So I have some Alstroemeria tucked in there. And let's see, what else do we have? Oh, yes, uh, I have a little bit more in terms of my Gerbera. So I'm going to continue the use of Gerbera here because I noticed that although I've got things coming out here, this part here is a little bit devoid. So I'm going to sneak in another mini Gerb right over on this side here. And then I have uh, a little bit more space right here in the front, right here. Now we've got white up here. We've got a lot of red. So I'm going to sneak a carnation right in here and I'm going to tuck it in. So it's kind of peeking through just slightly to give a touch of that particular color. 
And then I'm also going to work a little bit more in terms of right over on this side with another rose coming in over here. Notice my viewer how this is just gradually, gradually coming together. And what I'm doing is I'm making use primarily of the symbolism of color. In other words, I'm not using the other symbols on this one, but I am making sure that I've got lots of red and white in this arrangement. Now certainly you can enjoy arrangements in any color for Canada Day, but I think that the use of some of these materials really gives something that definitely gets the theme across, just as we like to use red, white, and blue in some of our July 4th type designs in the United States. Now, I, it's very, very uh, red and also uh, white. So I'm going to play with one other thing. I'm going to take a flower that's a little bit unusual. This is called Oryngium, Oryngium. Oryngium is a flower, ooh, I have a little moss in there. Oryngium is a little flower that has kind of a grayish color to it. Sometimes it comes in with a touch of blue, but this seems to feel a little bit more gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pieces of Oryngium and I'm going to pepper them in. Oryngium is, a, is an interesting flower. It's got an interesting texture to it. It feels a little bit different. And what I want to do is create a little bit of an element of surprise in this arrangement. In other words, we have lots of roses. We have the, uh, the various materials in terms of our hydrangea. But by working a little touch of something that's not expected, and because it is a grayish kind of color, it basically is kind of neutral in terms of my color scheme, just as the silver container is neutral in terms of what I'm doing here. So that my, the bulk of my design definitely is saying, uh, Canada Day with red and white, but in the meantime, I'm making use of some of these other materials to kind of give a, a, just a touch of a little bit different texture, a little different feeling into my arrangement. So I'm working a little over here as well. So what do you think, my viewer? I think that I need one more flower that I'm going to work in, and I'm going to work it over onto the other side, and I'm just taking a look to see what I have my viewer in terms of different kinds of things to play with. There's one more spot that I want to place a flower, and then we're just about done. I'm going to take one more flower, a rose, and I'm going to work it in over on this side, just behind my hydrangea. Oops, I want to get this up just a little bit higher, right over on that side. So what do you think, my viewer? A little bit different. Quick, easy, and fun. That's the Rittner Floral School way. And we hope, my viewer, that you enjoyed this brief presentation on how to do an arrangement for Canada Day. For those of you who are celebrating Canada Day, we wish you a very pleasant one. And we thank you all for coming in and visiting with us today. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School in Boston, Mass., I am Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for visiting us today. We hope you enjoyed this brief video on how to do a lovely arrangement for Canada Day. Thank you.